Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. The question is who has the maximum rate of solvolysis reaction? So here four options are provided and one of them is the correct answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. So I believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer. Now student I suggest you to read the question once more. The question question is who has the maximum rate of solvolysis of the reaction. Here the important word is solvolysis. So what is meant by solvolysis? When the solvent molecule act as both reagent obviously and solvent. So here the solvent molecule is acting as solvent and reagent both. So that time it is called solvolysis. Now if you look at uh, the problem little carefully. So you can see here the main drawing. So all are eight member ring all and in this case if you look at the extreme left one this one it is a completely carbocyclic ring means all at uh, part of this ring atoms means all the atoms forming the ring are carbon and others case there is one heteroatom that is oxygen but the position of oxygen is different. So this is the overall difference. Now if you look at X, X is actually a living group. For your simplicity let me consider that X is an halogen living group like Br. Okay. So you can think that sir solvolysis, halogen living group then what type of reaction? Actually this is nothing but student nucleophilic substitution. So when I say nucleophilic substitution your question will be sir nucleophilic substitution means are you talking about SN1 or SN2? Actually I am not talking directly about whether it's SN1 or SN2 because the substrate which I have taken it is a secondary alkyl halide since I have taken it as bromine living group. So we know that secondary substrate shows mixed kinetics. So this is the another property of secondary substrate they shows mixed kinetics. What do I mean by mixed kinetics? Means this is a mixture of this kinetics is mixed of SN1 and SN2. Why? Because for SN1 we need very less bulky substrate like primary or methyl. For SN2 we sorry for SN2 we need less bulky substrate like prime these primary halides or methyl etc. But for SN1 reaction we need more bulky substance or tertiary type substance but these substance is in between tertiary and primary means secondary. So that is why here mixed kinetic is follow. So this is not our point of discussion because all are secondary. So this point is not belongs to the discussion. Now question is the difference is in first case there is no heteroatom, second case there is heteroatom. So question that what can happen? It can happen NGP. So it full form is neighboring group participation means actually it is a nucleophilic substitution but before that neighboring group will participate. So now from here I can say this is actually SN2. If you look at this only this substrate it is a mixture of SN1 and SN2 but since I am talking NGP possible then it is purely SN2. In SN1 NGP does not happen. So what can happen? So these oxygen can attack and in this way it will produce a bicyclic ring. Why? Because already a previously it is a ring. Now after this attack it will produce a bicyclic ring. What do I mean? So this is 1, 2, 3 if you compare in this way then the other counting will be 2 prime, 3 prime, 4 prime, 5 prime, 6 prime, 7 prime. So here whatever product you can expect that first one side will be 7 member ring. Just look at I am drawing and here one corner atom will be oxygen and since this oxygen is neutral and it is acting as nucleophiles so it will carry a positive charge on itself. So one side is actually a three member ring another side is seven member ring. Same thing if you think this way here one two three four here is two prime three prime four prime five prime here six prime. So it will be a bicyclic compound so here one side will be six member ring another side will be four member ring and the oxygen atom will be shared with a positive charge. So here four plus six understand. Now in third case if you look at one two three four five here also two prime three prime four prime five prime. So in this case both rings are five member. 
Okay. Now, a question 5 member ring is relatively less strain compared to 3 member and 4 member. So, 2 5 member ring in overall will result lesser strain compared to 1 6 1 4 or 1 7 1 3 this. So, that is why option D will react the faster. So, let us look at this little accurately. So, if you take this simple carbocyclic ring, so you may expect that it will, it can attack and it can leave, it will produce. So, it's pretty simple reaction. This is the product. Now, I have explained that why the four member ring and this, why these one, four, so two, three, four, five. So, this will results in maximum reactivity. So, after this nucleophilic attack, so it will attack and it will leave and it will produce this bicyclic compound. Why bicyclic? Actually, two cycles are there, 5 and 5. So, in the next phase, nucleophile will attack it. Sorry. So, nucleophile will attack from this back side and it will come because oxygen does not like to keep positive charge on itself for long time. Its neighboring group participation means helping of the neighbor. So, it did, but it cannot remain in positive charge for longer time. So, nucleophile will attack and ultimately what it will produce that the actually x is substituted no sorry sorry this is this will not be x this will be nucleophile this will be nucleophile and this is the x okay, because x already left in this first case it was x minus so in this way reaction will happen now a simple question that what is the benefit of this neighboring group participation remember student neighboring group participation is nothing but an intramolecular reaction and the rate of intramolecular reaction is far far faster than intermolecular so that's why such reaction occurs at faster rate so that means the kinetic will be affected and actually it will be faster so what will be the answer will undergo ngp fastest so, or solvolysis fastest, this option D through NGP or neighboring group participation. Now, in conclusion, what you have learned that alkyl halides, trosylates can undergo nucleophilic substitution easily and here solvolysis is possible when the solvent is acting as reagent 2. Now, secondary halides generally displayed mixed kinetics both SN1 and SN2 have explained. Now, neighboring group participation NGP is a kind of intramolecular reaction. Such reactions are always faster than corresponding intermolecular counterpart. And remember, 5 member ring formation is relatively easier due to proper conformational orientation and moderately lesser ring strain. I repeat the word moderately lesser because you can argue that sir, there is a chance of 6 plus 4. 6 member ring is very stable, I agree, but other one, no. So, if you compare the two rings in that comparison, 5 plus 5 is less strain. And remember, 5 member ring is almost planar. So, formation or nucleophilic attack from that is pretty easier. So, proper conformational orientation could be achieved relatively easier way. So, this is the end of discussion. Thanks for watching. And if you really enjoy the content of my channel, then please help this channel to grow. And if possible, you may visit my two other channels. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.